Good morning friends uh, and welcome to the pre-market view. We are starting off the week uh, on a positive uh, note and uh, the global markets uh, were uh, quite positive. The US markets were marginally up and they are sitting at a five-year high level. Uh, European markets, uh, most of them were down except FTSE. And when we look at the Asian markets, uh, Japan is down about a percent but most of the other markets are marginally up. Uh, the market is keenly watching for the Bank of Japan's policy meet where there is going to be further clarity on the uh, $10 trillion asset purchase program as well as, well as the inflation target uh, that they would be walking with. Uh, the market is expecting them to have a target of about 2% for inflation. Uh, in terms of flows, friends, FIs on Friday were net buyers in the cash market to the tune of about 1168-odd crore and the domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about 968 crore. Also important to note is that the USD INR has actually broken uh, the zone of 54 and currently it is trading at 53.70 which is definitely quite positive in terms of sentiment and flows. And when we look at our own markets uh, on Friday we had a uh, good positive uh, close and uh, after the market we had uh, important results of reliance which surprise the market on most of the parameters. Also some of the other companies which have come out with numbers so far like ITC and uh, some of the companies in the IT space uh, and even some of the mid cap companies in the reality uh, space have delivered good set of numbers so hopefully that should have some positive effect on the market but one point which I would like to uh, make is that despite uh, the positive uh, results that we've had here as well as in the US markets uh, the breadth of the market has not been that great though technically the market is showing a lot of strength uh, what is concerning a lot of people is that it's only led by a few large cap companies like maybe Infosys or ONGC or Reliance but the breadth or the participation in the market has not been that great. So this is an area where one will have to really watch out for and on that note let me invite Shrival to take us through important uh, FNO Q's uh, data and strategies that we can have in the FNO markets. Good morning friends, let's have a view at derivatives. Friends, in Thursday Street, we have seen that the oil and gas stocks have rallied after the government's decision of a hike in diesel prices according to the OMC companies. And that rally was even seen continuing in the Friday Street due to which we have seen that markets were able to hold on to the gains and have finally ended about 6,000, has ended about the mark of 6050. But what we have seen on the other hand is that the PCR ratio has continued to increase and it's currently at 1.12. We have seen long positions been taking place at the market in yesterday's, uh, in Friday's trade. Now talking about the implied volatility we have been seeing, it's been hovering in a narrow range and in Friday's trade we have seen that it has decreased marginally say by 30 to 60 basis points. So that is a positive sign for the market. And uh, if we talk about the strikes, we have seen that the focus has been shifted from 6,300 uh, 6, to 6,300 and 400 call option. Yes, 6,200 and 100 call option continues to see a good action. Whereas on the lower side, we have seen that a, a pretty a pretty good activity was being witnessed in 5,800, 5,700 put option. Now, so now that's shifted towards 5,900 and 6,000 put option. So going forward, 6,000 is the level which we need to watch on, on closing basis or we can say that would act as a good support for the market in coming days as 6,000 is the weekly VWAP. So on the higher side as markets are not able to take on 6,100, that would be the hurdle. And if those levels are taken or probably uh, it would open gates for the higher targets. Now talking about the stocks from the intraday perspective, uh, ITC is looking positive, so one can buy ITC with stop loss of 283 rupees 40 paisa. PTC is also looking good, so one can buy PTC with stop loss of 78 rupees 30 paisa. And Tata Motors is looking good, so one can maintain a stop loss of 324 rupees 35 paisa. Thank you. Friends, here are the important news and stories that we are tracking today. Uh, first of all, on the Reliance number, uh, Reliance uh, surprised the street with extremely good set of numbers and uh, particularly the GRMs uh, were at about $9.6 uh, per barrel as against about 6.8 uh, barrels per dollar last year. Also, there is an improvement of about 90 basis points in the pet cam margin and also shale gas, uh, they have uh, done extremely well. So, on overall parameters, uh, the numbers have uh, been quite positive and the market should uh, react positively to that. And uh, the net profit that the company has posted is at about uh, 5,502 crore. 
as against the expectations of about uh, 5060 crore. On the back of all these uh, positive uh, uh, numbers, most of the analysts have revised their estimates for next year by anywhere from about 1 to 1.5 percent. So we expect some positive action in Reliance stock in today's market. Also some of the mid cap companies which came out with good set of numbers over the weekend were Obero and Reality which reported about 32% kind of a growth in the net profit and about 53% growth in the top line. So uh, there could be some positive action in the Obero Reality in today's market. Also TV18 which is the leading media company also reported extremely good set of numbers and their revenue uh, showed a growth of almost about 72% and uh, it turned profitable with a profit of about 21.3 crore. Uh, with both broadcasting and the distribu distribution revenue showing growth, uh, some positive action can be expected even in TV18 stock in today's market. Also, HDFC is going to be announcing the numbers and the PAT number that we are looking at is about 1114 crore, uh, which would be about 13.5% uh, growth on a YOI basis. Uh, in another news, Reliance Industries has won the government's approval to denotify 40% of uh, the SEZ uh, that uh, is there in Gujarat, where they are looking at investing about 45,000 crore to cater to the domestic market. And also the company has announced good set of numbers. So uh, one can go along on Reliance with a stop loss of 881 and a target of about 926 to about 944. GMDC, which is a PSU company based in Gujarat, has got environment clearance for its uh, mines in Kutch, which has an approximate capacity of 21 million tons of uh, lignite. So one can go along on GMDC with a stop loss of 196 and a target of about 206 to about 210. ONGC Videsh, uh, which is an overseas arm of the ONGC, has a uh, struck oil at CPO5 block in Colombia where it has about 70% interest in that block. So one can go long on ONGC with a stop loss of 331 and a target of about 348 to about 354. Some negative news for on Hero Motor Corp as the workers uh, have not agreed uh, to the firm's revised uh, price of a uh, salary of about 7500. So it's a bit of a negative for Hero Motor Corp. One can go short with a stop loss of 1802 and a target of about 1714 to about 1677. That's it from all of us friends. Have a great trading session. See you tomorrow at the same time.